Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet orbiting the star nearest to our solar system, has sparked immense curiosity among astronomers. What makes this celestial body especially intriguing is how closely it mirrors Earth in certain ways, despite being light years away. The fact that such a potentially habitable planet exists just next door, in cosmic terms, opens a wide range of possibilities for life beyond Earth. Scientists across the globe have been both fascinated and surprised by the discovery of planets that might actually be better suited for life than Earth itself. This concept, brought to the forefront by influential thinkers like theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, has shifted the focus of space exploration. Instead of simply searching for Earth analogs, researchers are now entertaining the idea of superhabitable planets, worlds that could surpass Earth in terms of their capacity to nurture and sustain life. These extraordinary planets may offer conditions that are even more favorable than those on Earth. Imagine a world with extensive freshwater resources, milder climates, fewer uninhabitable deserts, and abundant, fertile land. Such environments could provide ideal habitats for complex life and might even become future destinations for human colonization. For decades, the ultimate goal in astronomy has been to identify an Earth twin, a planet with similar size, climate, and atmospheric conditions. However, with advancements in observational technology, this vision has evolved. Scientists now speculate that there may be planets out there with even better qualities for sustaining life. Michio Kaku, one of the prominent voices in this domain, has long advocated for the idea that humanity must eventually become a multi-planet species. This isn't just science fiction, it's a necessary contingency plan. Earth is vulnerable to various existential threats, including supervolcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts, and even long-term solar changes. Given that the Sun is predicted to engulf the Earth in about 5 billion years, finding an alternative home is not just a dream. It's a scientific imperative. But rather than merely seeking out another Earth, many researchers argue that we should be aiming higher. Instead of looking for worlds that resemble our own, perhaps we should target those that exceed Earth in their habitability metrics. These superhabitable planets may hold the key to understanding the best conditions for life in the universe. In 2014, scientists Rene Heller and John Armstrong introduced the notion that habitability extends far beyond a planet's placement within its star's habitable zone. Their theory emphasized that factors like the planet's age, size, and internal activity could dramatically influence its potential to host life. Simply being in the right orbit doesn't guarantee that a planet can support life. The presence of liquid water is often considered a cornerstone for habitability. Our search for habitable planets has largely been guided by this requirement. Yet, not all scientists believe that Earth's specific blueprint is the only model for supporting life. Some worlds might offer an even more suitable setup, better climates more diverse ecosystems, or environmental stability that surpasses what Earth provides. These superhabitable exoplanets could harbor more biodiversity than Earth, thereby challenging the long-held assumption that our planet represents the pinnacle of life-supporting environments. There are even cases within our solar system, like Jupiter's moon Europa, which may host subsurface oceans capable of sustaining life. This example demonstrates that habitability can arise in environments quite different from Earth's surface. Consequently, the exclusive focus on finding Earth analogs may be too restrictive. A more productive approach might involve identifying planets with optimal conditions for life, regardless of how closely they resemble our own world. Shifting the criteria away from an Earth-centered perspective allows scientists to cast a wider net in the search for life across the cosmos. This is where the work of Heller and Armstrong becomes especially important. They propose that the best planets for life might not just be like Earth, but better. In developing new models for exoplanet evaluation, they included multiple parameters, the planet size, mass, atmospheric retention, tectonic activity, and more. They also expanded their search beyond sun-like stars, exploring stars such as red dwarfs and orange dwarfs. Orange dwarfs, in particular, are compelling candidates for long-term habitability. Though smaller and cooler than our sun, they are far more stable and have much longer lifespans, some lasting up to 70 billion years. This extended lifespan offers a prolonged window for complex life to develop. 
Considering that advanced life on Earth only began to emerge after billions of years, older planets around orange dwarfs may have had a significant head start. However, there is a delicate balance. Planets that are too old might lose the geothermal energy necessary for tectonic activity and magnetic field generation. These processes are crucial for recycling nutrients and shielding life from cosmic radiation. According to Heller and Armstrong, an ideal planetary age falls between 5 and 8 billion years, enough time for life to evolve and flourish, yet not so old that the planet becomes geologically inactive. In contrast, Earth is around 4.55 billion years old, putting it just shy of this optimal range. The size and mass of a planet are fundamental factors in determining its potential to support life. While the search for habitable planets often begins with identifying those in the so-called Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist, size and mass are equally vital in evaluating whether a planet can actually sustain life over long timescales. A planet that is roughly 10% larger in radius than Earth offers not only increased surface area, but also enhanced environmental diversity. This additional surface space could provide room for more varied ecosystems, broader climate zones, and a greater range of geographical features such as mountains, forests, lakes, and rivers. All of these factors combined could contribute to fostering greater biodiversity than what we observe on Earth. On a larger planet, there is more potential for the development of complex ecosystems, both in terms of species variety and ecological interactions. With a greater diversity of habitats, perhaps including extensive forests, wetlands, and shallow oceans, a wider range of organisms could emerge and evolve over time. This increase in biodiversity is crucial not just for the richness of life, but for the planet's overall ecological resilience. A robust, diverse biosphere is more capable of withstanding environmental changes, making life on such a planet more stable and long-lasting. In addition to a more expansive surface, increased planetary mass plays a vital role in habitability. A planet with higher mass exerts stronger gravitational pull, which allows it to retain a thicker atmosphere over longer periods. A dense atmosphere is essential for regulating temperature, distributing heat around the planet, and protecting living organisms from harmful space radiation such as cosmic rays and solar flares. Without this atmospheric insulation, surface conditions could become too harsh for life to endure. On Earth, the atmosphere acts as a protective blanket, trapping heat and filtering dangerous radiation. On a larger planet with stronger gravity, this blanket could be even thicker and more effective. A thick atmosphere helps to support and maintain a robust water cycle, which is vital for life as we know it. It enables the formation of clouds, precipitation, and bodies of water, all of which are necessary for sustaining both plant and animal life. In turn, these elements contribute to nutrient cycling, weather regulation, and the overall ecological balance of the planet. Another critical benefit of a larger mass is that it can help sustain internal geological activity over extended periods. This activity, driven by radioactive decay in the planet's core, can power tectonic movements, volcanoes, and the generation of a magnetic field. A magnetic field is essential for deflecting solar wind and preserving the planet's atmosphere. Without it, the atmosphere could slowly erode into space, as seen on Mars. When evaluating a planet's habitability, considering its size and mass is indispensable. A slightly larger and more massive world could not only mirror Earth's life-supporting features, but potentially surpass them, offering an even more favorable environment for the evolution and sustenance of complex life forms. Moreover, increased planetary mass would result in prolonged radioactive decay within the planet's core. This slow release of energy helps maintain internal heat, driving tectonic activity and preserving a magnetic field. Without these systems, a planet becomes more susceptible to losing its atmosphere, as may have been the case with Mars. That said, a higher gravity on these larger planets could pose mobility challenges for living organisms or humans hoping to settle there. Despite this, the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks when considering overall habitability. These planets could also exhibit more dynamic water cycles. Warmer temperatures and more expansive land masses might encourage lush vegetation and rainforests, the very regions on Earth that boast the greatest biological diversity. Warm, 
what environments typically support a wide range of species, and a planet with slightly higher average temperatures might therefore be even more supportive of complex life. Land and water distribution is another aspect worth exploring. Planets with balanced geography, where shallow oceans, lakes, and diverse land masses coexist, may have more biologically active zones. On Earth, shallow coastal regions are known to support rich ecosystems. A similar setup on a superhabitable planet could produce environments ripe for diverse forms of life. The growing list of known exoplanets has already reached over 5,000, and among them are some promising candidates for habitability. Out of these, 24 exoplanets have been highlighted by researchers as potentially more habitable than Earth. One such example is KOI 5715.01, located nearly 700 light years from our planet. Orbiting a yellow dwarf star, this exoplanet has an estimated age of 6.5 billion years and a surface temperature hovering around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, an ideal range for sustaining life. Its size is also within the favorable range, estimated between 0.72 and 1.29 Earth radii. Despite their great distances, these planets are not beyond reach in terms of study. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope are expected to revolutionize how we analyze exoplanet atmospheres. With its advanced capabilities, scientists hope to detect biosignatures, chemical signs of life, that would confirm whether these worlds are truly habitable. Proxima Centauri b, located just 4.2 light-years away, remains one of the most intriguing targets. It lies in the habitable zone of its host star, which suggests liquid water could exist on its surface. However, this planet also faces significant obstacles. Tidal locking may result in one hemisphere being perpetually scorched while the other remains frozen. Furthermore, its red dwarf star emits strong stellar flares and ultraviolet radiation, which could hinder the development of life. Even with these challenges, the proximity of Proxima Centauri b makes it an appealing subject for ongoing and future missions. Understanding its environment can offer valuable insights into planetary habitability and refine our criteria for identifying better worlds. In wrapping up, it's becoming increasingly evident that Earth may not be the ideal standard for habitability in the universe. Planets that are slightly older, larger, more massive, and better balanced in terms of environmental conditions might offer a richer and more diverse potential for life. As astronomical technology continues to advance, so too will our ability to discover and study these superhabitable worlds. The future of space exploration lies in broadening our expectations. By opening our minds to new models of habitability, we stand a better chance of discovering not just another Earth, but a truly exceptional world where life can thrive in ways we've only begun to imagine.